we have this aluminum bolt here. Customer brought it in the way how you see it. Quarter inch thick aluminum plates, 3003 bolted on the inside and the outside. The bolt itself is made out of 5052. The plates are made out of 3003. So technically this could be welded with uh, 4043 or 5356 or maybe a few different other um, fillers. Typically marine grade aluminum is 5086 or 5083 and needs to be welded with 5000 series wire. 5052 is the only 5000 series aluminum that can be welded with 4043 wire. So we will be using the uh, HTP Pro Pulse 200. We'll be going over some settings. Uh, the plates the customer put in are quarter inch thick. The original material appears to be about 80 thousandths to 100 thousandths thickness. From what I can tell, there's a few holes drilled in here and I kind of can see how thick this is. So, um, We'll see how this goes. So we're at the machine now. Let's see what we need to do to switch this over from steel wire to aluminum. First of all, let's remove the steel wire. Then Let's take the drive roll pressure down to just under one and let's replace the drive roll from a V-shaped drive roll to a U-shaped drive roll that is meant to feed aluminum. So here you see the drive rolls. The aluminum drive roll on the left and the steel drive roll on the right. You can tell the difference the left side is like a, a wide V or a U and the right side is pretty sharp V. Besides you see a 1.0A stamped in here. On the back side you see a 1.2A stamped in here. You want to have it so the 1.0A is facing you which is the smaller groove in the back this is for O35 and O40 wire. So the next step is after installing your aluminum drive roll, disconnect your steel gun, then get your aluminum gun. It will be labeled ER260 and install your aluminum gun. Disconnect your regulator. This is my field service regulator with a 25 foot gas hose. Disconnect your regulator from your 7525 tank. And then install your regulator on your 100% argon tank. Then take your wire and install it in the machine. Make sure that the wire you install does not have any blemishes or bends. Any imperfection in the wire can and will lead to burn bends in the tip. Once the blemished spot wants to go through the contact tip, it'll jam up and burn the tip. Keep the gun straight, possibly remove the contact tip and run the wire out. When you feed wire out, try to stay under 400 inches per minute. Then set your speed rate as low as possible to adjust your gas flow. Consult with the wire manufacturer for flow rates 
typically shielding gas flow rates on aluminum wire are between 35 and 50 CFH. Now let's go over a few settings on the machine. This button on the left here will determine the program selection. Use the lower encoder or these arrow keys to scroll through till you find the wire that you're using. Uh, we're using 4043 in 0.35 diameter with 100% argon. This is the precision aluminum welding program for uh, auto body material thickness. And this is the regular pulse program. This is the double pulse program. We'll try to weld this in the uh, regular pulse program. Select. Now the screen shows you a few things. It shows you in the top line what program you have chosen. Then it shows you an estimated amperage, a voltage, a material thickness approximate, depending on the joint configuration. Some joints take more, some joints take less heat. Uh, a butt joint takes less heat than a lap joint. Also depending on the welding position, uh, in position weld takes more heat than a vertical up or overhead. Or in a vertical up, it has to be dialed down a little bit. It's also, depending on the travel speed and gun manipulation, depending on how fast or slow your travel speed is, and how much gun manipulation you do, that all influences the settings of the machine. For example, in a double pulse program, you want to do no gun manipulation, otherwise the pulse makes a weird pattern in it. It's These settings here are designed for a straight line push on aluminum. Depending on if the material is cold or hot, this will all have influence on our material thickness setting. I will be going to about 425 inches per minute, um, 166 amps. The material thickness here reads just shy of 3 16 Since we are welding a quarter inch plate to a not even eighth inch thick plate, presumably the setting is right. We will see how much we have to fine tune it afterwards. On the left side here, I'll be going in MIG 4T in order to take advantage of the trigger controlled hot start. The way how this works is on first pull and hold, the machine will start welding 35% higher amperage than what I've dialed in. As I let go, it will go on the setting that I've dialed in. As I pull and hold, it goes into slope down mode to fill the crater. If I let go early, it kills the slope down mode. This gives me superior control over hot starts and the puddle and all phases of the aluminum weld. This here is my uh, start speed or run-in speed and the time for how long this speed is active. This basically prevents machine gun starts. It, is, it makes for a crisp and smooth arc ignition. That is my burn back timer. I, I may not have to set this up anything, aluminum wire, um, the way how it welds, the spray arc requires a little bit longer stick out anyways. However, the pinch is too high. The pinch is what electrically snips the wire, the ball at the end. On 4043 wire, it should never be more than 75. Too high of a pinch will act almost like a burn back and will start um, messing up your wire or even your tip burning all the way back into the tip. So typically around 50, no more than 75 is a good setting. My slope down timer, I will go to three seconds. 
my pre-gas at 0.1, my post-gas at 0.5. So now we'll see how this will weld for us.
24. So there's about 24 linear feet of weld, quarter inch plate to less than eighth inch thick material. 24 linear feet, all welded in one shot. The machine never turned off. Now I want you guys to guess what a job like this is worth. <laughs> 